Welcome back, my dears. If you are new here, my name is Pamela, or Pam to some of you, those of you that already belong to the Pam fam. And on this channel, I provide fragrance recommendations, I provide perfume reviews, as well as some useful tips to help you care and curate your perfume collection. Because a lot of times we have things and we don't really know how to take care of them to make them last longer. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing perfumes that don't work for me anymore. So I'm decluttering them. Most of the fragrances I am sharing here today, I blind bought. And I think this is why last year I went on a you know, mission to let people know or to convince folks you really should not blind buy because as much as I wanted to like or love living on the edge, I just wasn't when I saw how much money I was wasting. So for me right now, looking at my collection, you can see I really don't need to keep anything I don't love. So that's why they got to go. And actually, this is my first time doing a declutter video. So grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack, and let's get to decluttering. First, First up is Domerosa by Liquidis Imaginaire. This perfume, when I first smelled it, I really liked it. I thought that it was going to be vibing with my skin. I was walking around sniffing my arm. I was like, yay, I love this. And then there was some drama in me actually getting this. Um, it went to the wrong mailbox. The person tried to steal it. So there's some trauma associated with Domerosa. And that's probably why I'm probably not wanting to let go of it. But I have to because every time I've tried this perfume, the champagne in here is just way too much for me. This smells like I drank a lot of, you know, spirits. And I didn't know how to handle my spirits. And it's coming up my pores the next morning. That's how Domerosa smells on my skin. I can't say enough how much I wish this really worked for me. I am just getting way too much of everything else and not the fruity vibes I was getting when I first smelled it. More woody and everything else. Less of the rose and less of the fruitiness. So if you are interested in Domerosa by Liquidis Imaginaire, I have it available for you. Just leave me a comment in the description or check out my Poshmark. It's already listed on there. So that's Dom Rosa by Liquidis Imaginaire. Next up is a very hyped up fragrance in 2023. This is Blanche Bet again by Liquidis Imaginaire. Guys, I really felt I bought into the hype with this perfume. I felt that because of the lactonic vibes that were described, I would like this fragrance. Now, I did not blind... Yes, I did. I did blind buy this one now that I remember. I blind bought it because I got it at, I wouldn't say a great price, but I got it at a decent price. So I blind bought almost a full bottle. As you can see, there's a dent. So I did wear it a few times. However, it just does not develop well on my skin. I wish it did, but it did not. So hence the reason I'm decluttering it. Next fragrance is from the house of Healy, and this is called Agarwood or Agarwood. Let's just go with Agarwood. <laughs> Okay, now this fragrance is an interesting take on oud. It is very much incense forward. I get a lot of incense on my skin. It is a sexy fragrance, but I don't think it's a fragrance for a woman. My husband did not mind it, but for me, it's just not, I'm not an incense girl. If you like incense and you like oud, you may like agarwood. So hit me up down in the comments if you're interested in picking this up from me. I promise you, you'll get a good price for it, okay? Next up is a perfume that James Healy created for his wife. This is Phoenicia. Now, I really wanted to love this perfume because when I looked at the notes, I felt that I it was going to be for me. Even though it had incense vibe in it, James Healy vibe is very, um, how should I say, peaceful. He likes that whole aura, you know, Tibet aura. I think, I thought I was going to like this a lot. In fact, I thought I was going to love this, just looking at the notes. Now, you can see here, I barely used this fragrance, like barely, meaning I sprayed it only to try it several times because I really wanted to hold on to it. But even with the wonderful notes, Phoenicia is just not for me, so I will be decluttering her. Next up is Asacre, or Osacre by Healy. I'm trying hard to pronounce these things correctly. I really wanted to like this. When I looked at the notes on Fragrantica, as well as what people were saying about this fragrance in the comments below, I thought this was going to be one for me, specifically because it's listed as for women and men. Yes, that's how it's listed on there. It's a warm, spicy fragrance, but it just wasn't doing it for me. I have worn this, I think, two or three times. I've layered it mostly with vanilla fragrances I've layered it with. And I did get compliments, weirdly enough. I did get compliments when I wore it 
but by itself, it's just not my jibe. It's not my juge, as you would say. So Au Sacré is another fragrance I am decluttering. Next fragrance I'm letting go of is Tonque Azur, and this is by Gallagher Perfumes, or Pearlescent Perfumes, which is a division of Gallagher Fragrances. Now this is fruity, it's floral, it's adlerhitic, it's got a bit of vanilla in there. I do like it, but I don't love it. I like the black currant, I like the fruits, the black currant and the blueberry. And I like the way the champagne is done here, but on my skin, I found that this fragrance just just doesn't do it for me where I have to say I gotta keep it. So I'm letting go of Tonka Zool by Pearlescent Parfums. Let me know in the comments if you're interested. The next fragrance I will let go of is Cherry Oud by Guerlain. I am really regretting having to let this fragrance go because I do love cherry, but Cherry Oud is just not working for me. I have to layer this fragrance with several other fragrances to get it to work for me. Regrettably, Cherry Oud just does not work for my skin. I really think it comes off too leathery. I prefer my cherry to have more of an almond vibe, or I prefer my cherries to be a little more sweet, a tartness to it. This just doesn't do that. I get more leather than cherry. I get a lot of the cherry when it dries down, but like aged cherry, like cherry wood more than cherry. So if you're interested in Cherry Oud by Guerlain, it will be listed on my Poshmark. I think it's already up there. Please let me know in the comments as well if you're interested. I am sad that it's not working out as I wanted it to, but yes, Cherry Oud has to be decluttered. Let's get into the most fun part of today's video, which is hauling. We love a good haul. And in today's video, I'm gonna share some perfume and body care items as well as some beauty. And I got PR items as well as items I got from a small brand off of Etsy. I purchased off of Etsy. It is called Sugar Mama's Artisan Fragrances. Really excited to get into these. I bought four items. They're all body products, guys. I bought a body oil, pistachio ice cream, I also bought very vanilla body oil as well as the fragrance mist. It's a nourishing or hydrating body mist. And then I went ahead and I also picked up this because it was intriguing because of the bananas. This is the banana split body butter. And look at the packaging, isn't it cute, right? This is a small brand. I bought this off of Etsy. So check it out guys, Sugar Mama Artisan Fragrances. Next up is a new release from the House of Siage from the Looney Tunes collection. They've got the Bugs Bunny and the Tweety Bird. Guys, these are so cute and currently they're 20% off. Please use my link that's down in the description to shop the sale. Now, I will share with you that I have the Looney Tunes Tweety. I call it the Tweety Bird. <laughs> I love it. I actually really love it. This, I shared a reel, I think it was two days ago, about this release. You know, I did a little unboxing and whatnot, but Tweety Bird is so doggone stinking cute. I couldn't stop looking at it when I opened it up. Like literally I could not stop. Now for me, I thought this was like on par for the House of Siage. You guys know with the packaging, the cupcakes is not for everyone and I acknowledge that. But for me, I absolutely love the House of Siage cupcakes. Look at the details on this. It's got Swarovski crystals per usual. And I felt that they did such an excellent job in displaying the way, you know, we would think the very whimsical Tweety Bird that we think I think it's spunky. It's very, I would say, witty looking. You know, they even got the bird sitting in the bath because they've got like a mirror inside the circle right here. They've got a mirror. So Tweety Bird's reflection, kind of like, you know, representation of water. So the packaging, by far, it is the cutest thing I have in my collection. The fragrance itself is actually really pretty. I'll put the notes up on the screen for you. It, to me, gives me nice spring summer vibes because it's bright. It's a bit effervescent as well, but it's very bright and floral, a tad bit citrusy. Absolutely love it. In my opinion, you really need to get your hands on this if you like, <laughs> if you like the, um, you know, Looney Tunes and you like whimsical things, you really need to get your hands on this. I think this is a collective piece that is worth buying 100%. If you are interested in collecting these, please use my link in my description for your 20% off. I'm grabbing both of these. I want the Bugs Bunny. My husband, he smelled a sample and he was into it. So I'm probably going to pick that one up as well. 
are a lot of sales going on with the House of Siage. The Lunar New Year's Mystery Vault is one you might want to pick up. There are several great items in this set. You've got the carrying case, the perfume carrying case that's gold. You've got the Swarovski crystals, a large one on the top. And then you've got Swarovski surrounding the opening. When you open it up, you can see they've got a fragrance in there. And that fragrance is Haute Peugeot, which is one of the top fragrances from the signature line from the House of Siage. Everyone loves that fragrance especially me, okay? One of my favorite items from this Luna New Year's Luna Vault or set, however you want to call it, is this. This is so pretty. And I'm a pink lover, so I was automatically feeling the whispers of admiration. Lipstick carrying case. Woo! Child, look at all that blingity bling bling. There is also a diamond powder lip balm. This is a color that has a sort of a pinky, rosy vibe. It comes off sort of transparent when you put it on the skin. Either way, if you're that complected, just using a lip liner, you're going to be perfectly fine with this. I really like this a lot. I want to share an important note with closing these House of Siage lipstick cases. You want to make sure you do not, and I repeat, please do not force close them okay look for the diamond rose one side of the cap being an individual line and the other side being a double line as you can see right here when you have it like that you just push it a little harder and then it will snap close for you so you won't have to force close them okay these are just too beautiful to mess up believe me i tried before that's how i'm letting you guys know now the next item that is in the lunar set is the benevolence which is my favorite house of siage fragrance the benevolence fragrance this is from the signature line if you have a chance to smell this i would recommend you do it and that's the last piece that goes with this entire set the new year's luna vault set from the house of siage it's i think it's a great buy if you are new here my name is pamela or pam to those of you that are already members of the pam fam and i really appreciate you watching today's video specifically making it this far remember the house of siage is on sale use my link that's in the description if you're planning on picking up any of those and if you're interested in any of the fragrances that i mentioned i'm decluttering let me know down in the comments or you could check out my poshmark it's up to you not subscribed to the channel you'd like this type of content is providing value to you please consider subscribing and you know joining the family so my dears thank you so much for hanging out with me today please take care of yourself take care of each other and i'll see you in the next video bye